You may want to add some text to create a title or a label on your device screen in the interface builder in your main storyboard in Xcode. You can do this by going to the plus sign in the top toolbar in Xcode to open up your object library. So click on the plus and then type in the word label and then grab and drag the label from the object library. As soon as you start dragging that out, your object library will close. Drag that onto your device screen in the interface builder. And once you see that green plus sign, you can release your mouse or the trackpad to place that label on the screen of your device. As long as you see these white boxes around the label, you can edit it. If for some reason you've clicked off of it and you don't see those, just go ahead and click back on the label so that you can edit the text. To do that, look over in the inspector panel on the right side and make sure you're on the attributes inspector that has the three little sliders in the button. And then look at the top where it says text and in that second box where it says label, go ahead and put your mouse in that box and replace label with the text that you want to see on your screen. Once you finish typing your text in, hit your return key. And now you'll see that text in the label box. You can grab the label box and drag it around on your screen. You can use this little pop-up blue dotted line that appears on your screen to know when you've centered that label on your screen. You can also change the color of the text in your label by again looking over in the attributes inspector in the inspector panel on the right side. Here where it says color, you can click in that box and you could select a different color for your text. You wanna think about what your background color is and making sure that the color you select allows your user to easily see and read that text on the screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this as the default black color. You can also change the size of the font here in this font box over on the right side. You can use the up arrow to increase the size of the text in your label. And then again, you may want to drag that label on the screen to center it. Also making sure that you're looking at those blue pop-up lines on the left and the right side to know that your label is appearing inside of the safe zone on the device screen. That's the area again that will show up on your screen and not be obstructed or clipped off by the edge of the screen. There are lots of other settings over here on the right side and attributes inspector as well that you might want to explore. One being the background down here. So if you want your title or your label to stand out on the screen, you might click in here and change this from no background to a colored background. So with my blue screen, maybe having a white box behind that text may help it to pop out on the screen. So you can explore if you feel like having a colored background behind your text will make it stand out more, or if you feel like it was better with out anything behind it, then you can go ahead and change it back to the default setting, which is this red slash, which means that there's no color selected. Now you can build and run your app in the simulator to see what it looks like. To do that, click on the start or the run button over here in the top left to start up your simulator. The first time that you build and run your app in the simulator, it might take a minute or two for your simulator to pop up. Just be a little patient. Once that simulator starts up, you'll be able to see what your app screen looks like on the device that you selected. So you can see how your, your title or your label will appear on the screen and what that looks like.